What's going on guys? ZTA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today, LaunchBox 9.4 has been released with some new features and lots of new improvements. So as you can see here, there's lots of new improvements and I'm not going to be able to go over every improvement in this video, but if you want to check out the change log, link will be in the description. First things first, new premium feature, big box themes have now been overhauled with new support for platform specific game views. We also have some new performance improvements inside of big box dealing with the VLC player, so things should be a lot smoother. But basically, this new theme overhaul will allow developers to create a single theme and have a different view for each platform. A quick example is one of my favorite themes, Coverbox. This has 22 systems, but in the past we had to download each one of these files here. As you can see he's got a lot and we had to go in and manually set it inside a big box. This is going to allow the theme developers to create a single theme and when the end user installs it, we'll have a different look for each one of these systems, which is going to be a big plus for everybody. Hopefully it makes it easier on the developers and for sure it's definitely going to make it easier on the end user. Next up, we have a new improvement, and in my opinion, this is a big one. LaunchBox will no longer download images from inapplicable regions during batch imports and media download processes. This is going to help save space and bandwidth, so you should be able to get your images downloaded a lot quicker, because we can choose the region we want to download from. In the past, if we imported NES games, it would download everything from Japan, North America, United States, and so on and so on. So it's really easy to get this up and going. Inside of LaunchBox, make sure you're updated to 9.4 or above. We're gonna head over to Tools, Options, Region Priorities. Now I'm gonna choose United States and North America. If you're in Europe, you can choose Europe, Japan, World, Asia, Australia. We have a ton of choices here, and if you really want to, you can download everything. But overall, this is going to save space and make the import process a little quicker because we don't have to download box art from everywhere around the world. And finally, I did mention that VLC has been updated, but it's been updated to 3.06. This should resolve various issues with previous versions of VLC, and performance has significantly increased. So definitely give this a try with Big Box. Make sure you're updated to 9.4 and let us know what you think about the new release in the comments. I do want to take a little time and tell you about a couple upcoming features that will be coming to LaunchBox and Big Box very shortly. First up, we have a built-in theme downloader inside of Big Box. This is something I've been looking forward to. I miss out on a lot of the new themes because I usually forget to go over to the forum and check it out. So with this theme downloader built in, it's going to make it easier than ever to get themes installed on your Big Box setup. And finally, in addition to the recently added start and end screens, we're going to be implementing pause screens. This is something that people have been asking for for a long time. We're finally getting around to it. It's looking really good right now. So definitely keep an eye on these updates. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that button now. And if you're not on the forum, you might want to go ahead and sign up because a lot of news happens over there before it gets to YouTube. Before I end this video, I do want to bring this new LaunchBox theme to your attention. Now, this is a LaunchBox theme, not a big box theme. It's by Mr. Retro Lust, and it's called Neon Deluxe Arcade. I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to download it. He also has a little bit of information down here. Go ahead and read through it. But it looks a little something like this. I spent a lot of time in LaunchBox, and when I initially found this on the forum, I wasn't really sure about it till I installed it and saw it for myself. This changes the whole look of LaunchBox, and I spend a lot of time there messing around with emulator settings and things like that. I don't think I'm going back to stock. Now, I will for tutorials, but for my personal use, I'm going to be using Neon Deluxe Arcade from now on. I just absolutely love the look of this. So if you're interested in downloading this, link will be in the description. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching. We hope you love the new features and improvements in version 9.4. We do have more coming in later versions, so just stay tuned for those. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And like always, thanks for watching.